folks, it's Finn. In this week's vlog, I want to talk about Transgender Day of Visibility, which falls on the 31st of March. This was started by Rachel Crandall back in 2009 to run alongside Transgender Day of Remembrance. Now, Transgender Day of Remembrance is incredibly important. It's a day when we remember all of our lost trans folk across the world. Trans people die every year by the masses, by their own hand and by others, simply because they're trans, and this is awful. But it's also really, really important to see the other side of being transgender, because being transgender is not a life sentence. Transgender people go on and live happy, healthy, productive lives. We are doctors, teachers, nurses, musicians, artists, athletes. We are an incredibly diverse and wonderful group of people, just like every other human being. We just happen to be trans. It's recently been said that being transgender and transgender issues is kind of at a tipping point. We're seeing lots more transgender people in the media, in the news, a lot more positive stories, and this is great, absolutely great. But I think that individual voices are still very, very, very important to get out there. I think YouTube is a great resource because when you get things in the media, they can be edited and skewed, whereas on YouTube, this is all raw. This is an amazing, diverse community of people who come from all sorts of backgrounds, whose trans narratives are incredibly different. You know, our reasons for coming out or when we realised how we transitioned, the surgeries we go through or don't go through, the medical inventions we choose and we don't choose. You know, we're an absolutely diverse group and on here is where you'll find the raw truth of what it is to be trans. And I think this is such a powerful, powerful community. I joined to add my voice because there weren't that many people of my age vlogging at the time. I was 36 when I came out and I wanted to get a kind of older person's view out there. There are now a lot more of us older folks here and it's fantastic. So I do think that YouTube is incredibly powerful. And I think another reason why it's very powerful is it shows the different ways we all present. And I say this because although it is wonderful that we're getting so much visibility, it's hand-picked. And you tend to get people who fall under the label of this is what trans looks like. Now, I understand this label and I think it you know, had wonderful <laughs> connotations in the beginning, but I think it's often misused. It often gets used as a headline of trans people that you wouldn't know were trans. It's that kind of shock factor. So what you're basically saying is trans people that look like cis people are okay. And it's not about being read correctly, passing for all of us, and not all of us can. Some of us have the privilege of transitioning very success successfully and blending in, yes. And some don't. And do you know what? That's okay, because it isn't about pleasing this outside society that matters. It's about being comfortable in yourself. And I'd like to see a future whereby your declared gender is your declared gender, regardless of what you look like. So it's not about oh, we wouldn't know you were trans, so therefore you're okay. It doesn't matter. If you declare your gender to be something, then that should be respected regardless of what you look like. And I think that's where the power comes into individual stories, whether that be YouTube, whether it be books, whether it be artists, musicians. It's those kind of voices that are really, really incredibly powerful in terms of trans visibility. It's also important to remember that not all trans people want to be visible. So... Anybody that's watching this and wants to learn about trans people, if you have a trans person in your life and they are open to questions, ask. But it's also important to remember that just because we're trans, it doesn't mean we want to educate. Some do, some don't, and that's absolutely fine. So, how can we celebrate Trans Day of Visibility? If you are up for being visible and being seen, and that's okay to you, then go out there, show people who you are, talk about yourself, share your videos, share, post on your timeline, whatever. If you're not visible yourself, then you can support other people. There are always artists, musicians, writers who are starting fundraising projects. You can always contribute to those, share those around. If you're a trans ally, then love your trans person in your life. Get to know everything about their lives. Go and educate yourself, read books, blogs, vlogs, watch vlogs, all of the above. Tomorrow there will hopefully be lots of posts everywhere about trans people and trans lives, so share them around, educate yourself and stand up for us. I heard a wonderful thing recently, um, somebody had a talk from Stonewall and they were asking about how can you challenge transphobia and 
just the bad things people can say sometimes about trans people. It can feel awkward to actually stop and say something. And they use the UHT method, and I love this. So it's you. I understand how you feel like that. However, do you realise that's really hurtful to trans people? Therefore, it might be a better way to say something like this. And I love that. And it's about those simple things we can do about saying, hang on, do you know what you're saying is actually quite hurtful? Above all, tomorrow, just celebrate all things transgender. We are no different than anybody else. We just had a few bodily hiccups that meant that we didn't quite fit in in the way that other people do. So what? So what? Visibility does lead to equality. Eventually, if enough of us are seen as just regular people, then we'll be given the same rights as everybody else is. No more ridiculous bathroom bills, for example, because that's just pathetic. See us, share us, celebrate us. Thanks so much for watching. Do drop me a message in the comments below or send me a message on any of the social media links. Don't forget to subscribe for regular updates and all that jazz. Have a wonderful Transgender Day of Visibility. Love you all. See you next week. Bye-bye.